much a little. So, we've got an Uncle Ben update today. And I'm just going to clean up a little bit before we get started. <clears throat> some of the other things that went awry. So a significant portion of those um, plates that I poured yesterday seem to have, not yesterday, it was a couple of days ago, seem to have collected some friends it's very interesting. I haven't had this issue before. I just made the flow hood, and you know, it's not like best quality or anything, but I thought it'd work a little better. I'm hoping it's not that. I did a test over here where I just opened the plate up and let it sit in front of it, and there is no bacteria or mold. Nothing in there. But however, these, I don't know if you can, oh yeah, you can definitely see that. Yeah. Like I'm not sure how this happened. It might be in my agar. So I might just make some new agar. I'm not sure how this happened. Um, this one, I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can kind of see it up there on the top, up there. This one's got an orange one. I haven't seen an orange one yet. And then... Let's see. There's just some, oh, there's like a spot growing up here. Yeah. So, I'm not sure if it's this way, but this is my flow test, and these are little spots I did. These are just my cleaning, my uh, um, scalpel. But, yeah, there's nothing there. It's been sitting there for a few days too, at the same, same time as I poured the plates. I did a flow test, and then I've got some good ones, well I haven't checked them today, do a quick check, no, I don't see nothing, yeah, okay, no, anyway, so, um, I wanted to give you guys an update on the spore, the multi-spore, Uncle Ben's bag that we had. You can see it's taped up now because, yeah, got some something going on right here. Looks like it's green, maybe black. It's hard to tell. Yeah, so this guy, no good, no good. We've lost her. But, I mean, I did do a second one that day. And this one's still looking pretty good. So we're just going to roll with this one now. I want you guys to be aware that uh, our original Uncle Ben's bag has now perished, unfortunately. Got some bacteria, most likely from that multi-spore syringe. But... This one I did on the same exact day on the 21st. I just didn't do it on camera. I just, I just had an extra bag sitting around. I was like, oh, well, whatever. I'll run that one too with it. Double our chances. But, yep. Our, uh, our bin bag is gone. Alright, we did find a couple of these bags ready for a nice little break and shake here. We're gonna go ahead and do that today with this stuff. Unfortunately, losing that other Uncle Ben bag is upsetting me. I did not like it. 
It's still not ready to be shaking either. So we're not gonna shake it. These ones were done with some LCs. They're pretty, they're pretty stoked to be shaken. I'm stoked to shake them. It's the, the squish and shake. stuff I actually got to freaking break apart fairly easily. That last batch I did, my gosh, I had such a problem getting that stuff broken apart because I haven't used this medium grain rice and it didn't want to, uh, didn't want to get all the crap out of it, all the starch. So it was really sticky, but give you guys an update on the state of everything and we'll take a look at that box oh man I'm so excited to show you this guys <gasps> okay so I started a time lapse on it but the, the phone fell I taped it up you can see my shoddy tape job here we'll just take this out of here lovely tape job here to Lovely tape job. Alright, let's get this out of here. Alright, you guys are gonna love this thing. It didn't even look anything like this this morning. So I just got home and saw this. Look at this. Look how crazy that is. I'll post a picture of what it looked like. I think I took one this morning, I'm pretty sure. So. <laughs> wow. Um, that, that kind of exploded over there. So, I'm not, I'm not angry about it. Um, all right. So, and then we've got our other boxes here. These are some, some more golden teachers. And along with this one as well, not doing as well. It's actually got a mushroom growing upside down right here. I need to get that out of there before it starts pushing that cake up. And then we've got these guys up in here. Ooh, those are looking so good. They didn't look like this yesterday. Oh. Yes. Okay. And then this box. I think this is my last one. And it is looking okay. Here we go. Got the camera in there. Alright. You can see some of the pins starting to form. Especially back here. And then we've got two small nozzle boxes down here which are doing very well as well. Not quite as good as that blow up tub. And I'm kind of wondering if it's the holes that they have in it, because I don't have any holes in these right now. Um, so that constant airflow circulation may cause more rapid pinning. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And these boxes here, I just spawned yesterday. I'll show you one of them. They all pretty much look the same. This took a little over a week to get to where they were. You can see it's nice and ready. It's starting to knot up in all sorts of places. Oh, this Maza is extremely quick growing in comparison to the golden teachers that I have.
And then down here, we've got six boxes of PEs. And then we've got, let's see, six, seven, eight, eight jars of Mazas, one jar PE, and one JMF. These are the two that I'm just farting around with. And these are the ones that I'm really excited about growing. They have not, unfortunately, started to show, well, at least most of them, have not started to show any signs of growth at the moment. Um, there's a couple of them that have very small amounts of growth. That may just be because of the liquid culture that I made, or liquid mycelium that uh, had a little a little bit less mycelium in it. And so it's taking a little longer to get started, but no big deal. No big deal. We'll let that do its thing. Um, I really don't have too much else going on today. So I'm just gonna do a couple of small things around. Um, I may get to inoculating these if I do, um, I will actually post that in a separate video. I'm not going to try and make hour long videos all the time. I'm going to try and do some live streaming for the longer ones and see if that does it any better, but I don't know yet. Rice. Anyway. Um, you guys have a good day. Don't have too much fun. Watch out for the crazies. Uh, and uh, like, subscribe, all that good jazz, you know.